a defensive defenseman. On left wing, number 23, Bob Ganey. Soviet coaches have called him the best all-round player in the world, Bob Ganey of the Montreal Canadiens. On the right wing, number 29, Ron Duguay. One of the big surprises in the Team Canada camp, people asked why was Ron Duguay invited. He showed them why he was invited during and camp. Center ice, number 91, Butch Goring. What a Stanley Cup Butch Goring has. The Islanders repeated in 1981. Well, we're set to go now. The opening of Team Canada's defense of the Canada Cup. The referee for the hockey game will be Vladimir Schubert of Czechoslovakia, the linesman Kevin Collins of the United States, and Alexander Fedotov of the Soviet Union. Goring facing off against Hagman at center right hey. from the faceoff. Buck has cleared back to the blue line and we're underway. I'm Ron Roosh along with Tom Watt with a play-by-play of tonight's game. Buck cleared deep inside the Finland zone. Hard check thrown on level there by Duguay. The puck comes out over the blue line. At center ice, Englom having trouble. The puck is relayed to Hagman. Hagman clears it. Rink wide. Curry over the line. He's checked by Robinson. Inside the blue line, it's bounced out by Goring. Ganey, Goring again. And moving up on the play is Silton. And Silton and back in over the line now and offside. Breaking too quickly on the far side was Yari Corey. And it's called for a face-off. And Team Canada will be making its first change. Something I think we should expect as the Gillies bossy Trottier line comes out. Ryan Trottier centering the line. Came into training camp, bothered by a shoulder injury, but has improved steadily through the injury. The puck in over the line. There's a quick shot on Leut as he faces the first shot of the game and it's steered into the corner. That shot taken by Kittala. The puck is out at center ice now. Rick wide pass. Tipped over to Gillies. He's in over the line. Trotche trailing on the play out to Beck at the point. He shoots it into the corner now. Out in front intended for Trotche and it's intercepted. And Finland coming back with Yavanianen. Out over center ice now, down over the line, turning with it is Kettler. Kettler clearing it in front. Gillies is right there, and he clears it right onto the stick of Kettler, the veteran. Puck is cleared behind the net. Into the corner it goes for Potvan. Potvan clearing it out to center ice. Back at his own blue line, Rutzakalio of the Calgary Flames. In against the board, checking very, very close right now as here comes Perro along with Gretzky in over the line. Perro into the corner, clears it behind the net for Gretzky. It's not the place you want to see Gretzky if you're an opponent, but the puck clears to an open wing and out into the center ice area. Cutting back into his own zone is Craig Hartsburg. Hartsburg has checked on the play by Porvari to the far side for Lafleur. Lafleur at center ice for Perro, and that one was intercepted. The puck is backhanded in again, loved by Leute. Behind the net for Hartsburg. Hartsburg. Into the corner on this side, is taken by Bork. Shot on Leut. Trapped in front of the net by Raymond Bork of the Boston Bruins. Out at center ice, it's Lafleur trailing on the play. He's down over the line, stops up against the boards in front for Perro. Perro cutting through the backhand shot. It's scooped up off the ice by Marcus Matson. Five saved by Matson on the first shot by Team Canada. Well, this is what all the fans have been waiting for. Here we see Lafleur breaking over that line. Makes that quick turn that he's famous for. Looking for the players coming late. Tries to tip it through to Gretzky. And Perot just dances through and his backhand is picked off by Matson. Good save by Marcus Matson. And Team Canada will make a defensive change as Brian Englund comes out to join Robinson. The Gretzky line remains there. What a dream line. Gretzky, Perot out of position on left wing. Elafleur on the right wing. And his team Finland at center ice. The puck is cleared down over the line for Porvari. He gets it in front of the net. Leut is right there and he holds it for the face off. Mike Leut, tremendous year he had for the St. Louis Blues, certainly in running for the most valuable player in the National Hockey League, the award that was won for the second straight year by the fellow who's about to take the draw out there, Wayne Gretzky. Leut. Robinson. Robinson starting out. Robinson to Perro. Perro at center ice now. He's down over the line. Great move, but he just couldn't get past uh, Rotsalinen. Behind the net now. Lafleur going in there. Clear to the point for Engblom. He moves in. Flips it behind the net. 
Out for Perro. Perro with LaFleur parked in front. Perro ducks back behind the net. Perro out in front, and the puck is cleared off of skate and out to center ice. Down with a long shot, drifting wide of the net is Kia Milan against the boards now. And Perro chasing it behind his own net. Perro off the boards for LaFleur. LaFleur on the far boards. LaFleur trying to cut in front of his own net. It rolls to the side of the net. Now covering up is Engblom. Out in front, a blind pass. Quick shot blocked by the defense. And here comes Team Canada with Gretzky leading the way. Gretzky, number 99, down over the line. Gretzky winding up on the shot. A good save, rebound. And the puck is cleared away as Matson appeared to lose his balance on the shot. Leonin at center ice. Down over the line, the pass for Kia Mylanen. Behind the net, Bork picks it up. He is hooked from behind by Sibon. Against the boards on the far side. Flipped out to center ice by Gare. Down over the line. Cleared over to the boards on this side now. Siltonen getting it out to center ice where it's intercepted. Cleared down to the line again. Racing after it is Dion. Dion behind the net. Into the corner it goes. Gare, he's checked on the play. Siltonen's there. Checked by Gare. Gare's got a man in front. And Dion couldn't get reach that puck as it was deflected off a stick and it's out to center ice. After it out there is Hartsburg. Hartsburg working with Bork on the blue line right now for Team Canada. Out to center ice for Gare. Gare trying to clear it. Rick White is intercepted by Siltonen. Then checked away in Hartsburg. Backhands it into the finish zone. Now down over the line. The quick shot on Leute. He gloves it easily from a long way out. It's cleared around behind the net as Bork is there. Off the boards. Out at center ice. Bringing it right back in is Numelin. Numelin checked. There's the shot. It's blocked by Hartsburg. Numelin again. Against the boards, Arbelius into the corner for Hagman. They jam in there. Corey holding it in there along with Hartsburg, and it's held for a base off. No score in the hockey game. Canada Cup 81 will continue in a moment. Face off to the left of Mike Leute. Hagman facing off. Taking the draw against Goring is from behind the net now. It's Barry Beck. Beck, caught Van off the board, scoring at center ice. Scoring trying to clear it ahead as Duguay was breaking on the play, but it was stopped up against the boards. Now it's cleared over the line. Curry coming in. He tried to backhand a pass to Cintolo. That failed to work. Now in the corner again. Hagman checked on the play by Goring. Beck behind the net. Pass that went right by Caught Van. Liut. Liut along the boards intended for Ganey. He has to come back for it. Buck is out at the point now. Numelin. Firing it around the boards to the far corner, Potvan, Duguay, Duguay firing it off the boards and back out at center ice, Numelin. Numelin cutting back behind his own net. Numelin as Goring's in for checking, Ganey's in there as well. He moves in on Numelin, but the puck is cleared out to center ice. Coming to the line, it's Cincelo, he's checked. Now Ganey on the left side. There's a rink wide, nobody there. Hagman is back now, Hagman turning with it. Hagman flipping it to the line, Potvan. Bot Van at center ice, third to the far side. On the fly down over the line, now it's Bossy, and he's got it just wide. Now moving in is Robinson, bounces it towards Bossy in the corner. Bossy, Gillies, and Trottier out there. Trottier in against the boards, Robinson. Robinson in front for Bossy. Bossy hooks it in front, out in front, is shot. Great diving attempt by Trottier. And the puck now is third to the far board. Out at center ice. Cleared off the board. Bossy racing in after it again. Bossy, the dangerous goal scorer. Gillies. Gillies tied up on the play by Huicare. And it's back out at center ice. Cleared back down into the Team Finland zone. Matson out of his net. Clears it into the corner for Rutzelianen. He clears it out to center ice. Now Bossy. Bossy dropping it back into his own zone. Engblom. For Perro, Perro with LaFleur and Gretzky now. Perro makes a great move and clears it over the line. Back to Perro, and it was tipped just behind him. Rutzelianen at center ice. He's number five, clears it to the far side. Over the line, it's clear back out to center ice. Gretzky instinctively reached back for it, but he couldn't control it. And it's called on the offside. Well, there we see Guy LaFleur, and of course this line of Gretzky and LaFleur and Perro, although Perro playing out of position on left wing, are really giving a lot of spark to the attack of uh, Team Canada. When you have three great players that can improvise the way they have, uh, they're going to do things with the puck, and they're going to create the opportunities. Well, they started out with a line of Gretzky, Lafleur, and Shutt. Perro was moved in early in the training camp, out of position, really, at left wing. But what a job he's done, and people have been raving about 
the performance of Paro in camp as he has seemed rejuvenated. He looks like the player that was a star for the Montreal Junior Canadiens when they were winning Memorial Cups in the late 60s. Huck is behind the net now, taken and cleared straight ahead off the stick of Gretzky out to center ice where Silton has it. He clears it to the far side. It's out over center ice and down over the line for Kim Allen. And behind the net now, ducking back there is Raymond Bork to the far side, Lafleur. Lafleur looking for that man to get the pass to. He gives it to Hartsburg. Hartsburg at center ice over the line. Middleton broke too quickly on the left side and is called for a faceoff. 7:27 gone in the first period. No score. In the hockey game, Canada versus Finland. If you just joined us, a 1-1 tie. Bit of a surprise in Winnipeg this afternoon as Czechoslovakia and the Soviet Union played to the draw. And here, earlier this afternoon at the Northlands Coliseum, the United States beat Sweden 3-1. Great performance by Tony Esposito in that game. Buck inside the blue line. Beck. Beck cutting in front of his own net. Now circling back as four checking on the play is Sevon, number 18. Now Beck gets the return pass. Beck drops it back under pressure and circling back is Potvan. Two New York defensemen, Rangers and Islanders. Here's Beck in the corner fighting for it against Numelin. Numelin jamming in there. Now the puck pops free, taken by Arbelius. Now Beck. Beck out over the blue line to center ice. Dion's got it. Dion over the line with Gare. Dion cutting in front, working to the slot. Now cuts to the far board, drops it back to Potvan, into Middleton, to Gare. Gare has checked on the play. Yellenen's got it. Behind the net. Yellenen to the left boards, cuts back as the four checking. Team Canada forces Finland back. Now at center ice, it's Numelin. Numelin over the line. They clear it in front. It rolls off the stick of Yellenen. And here comes Team Canada. Goring at center ice. Canada changing quite often here. Goring is dumped as he hit the line by Timo Numelin, the oldest member of the Finland team at age 33. Puck is cleared to an open ring. Now it is Duque in front for Goring. Goring to the far boards. Clears it around behind the net. Duque. Duque working to the far boards. Out to the point. It's intercepted. Trying to get by his Sintalo. He goes down. And against the boards. And it's called on a penalty, and Team Canada will be playing a man short. No score in the game. Canada Cup 81 will continue in a moment. Brian Engblom off for hooking. 8.56 of the first period. Finland with his first power play attempt, and they'll send out their big line, a veteran line really for them, of Corey, Hagman, and Sinsalo. Three forwards who have played quite often, but those who talked about that Soviet-Canada game on Saturday night raved about Team Canada penalty killing. They've got Goring, Ganey, Robinson out there along with Potvan. Lebo from behind his own net clearing it to the far board. Silton is working on the power play as well. They keep their units together as much as possible. European style. Hagman with the puck now on the right side. Hagman dropping it to Curry, but he is checked by Ganey and here's Goring. Coming right back out at center ice. Goring over for Ganey. Tried to tip it over the line. It's intercepted by Livo, and going back now to get it is Sinsolo. Sinsolo to Silton. Silton now on this side for Livo. Livo can't get it out over the line. Duque working in there along with Troche now, and Duque stick handling along the blue line, winds up with a shot. And the puck is blocked by Matson. He leaves it at the side of his net. Finland starting out from behind his own net. That is Kettle. He's checked on the play. Let's see what they can mean when they say that poor checking has been intense by Team Canada in penalty killing situations. Duque now out at center ice. Finland has not been able to get going here. Back in over the line for Robinson. Robinson working the blue line along with Potvan right now as Robinson flips it off a player's leg, gets it again. Robinson out over the blue line off the stick of Troche. Team Canada making a change now as Bossy comes on the ice. Duque comes to the bench along with Trotje and Middleton's out there and 20 seconds remaining in the power play for Finland as Middleton intercepts. Middleton in over the line now backhand pass for Bossy and he shoots and he shot it just wide on the rebound after Marcus Matson made the save. Here's another shot. Hot fan with that one. In the corner it comes. Now here is Middleton back in over the line. Stick handling as he works for the corner. Middleton behind the net out in front as he stick handled past the defenseman. Now with the penalty expired for Finland, 
Going into the far side in front of Charlie, a big hand for Team Canada's penalty killers, Perot. Along the boards for Bossy. Bossy in front of his own bench is pinned in there, and Perot's got the puck. Over to the far side now. Team Canada organizing. Hartsburg, number four, to the far side for Perot. Perot at center ice. Player to an open wing. Now flipped into Team Canada territory, and back to get it will be Raymond Bork. Bork starting the rush. He's a fine rushing defenseman, but he has checked as he started out of his zone by Porvari. Now cleared out to the blue line. Kimolan and keeping it in, but now here comes Team Canada with Perro on the rush. Perro over the line. Perro cutting in front. Over for Gretzky. Gretzky behind the net. Everybody's behind the net. Now Gretzky into the corner. He is checked on the play. Lannon inside his own zone. Clears it out and hit a linesman. And is cleared down over the line. In Team Canada territory now, Bork being checked. Now manages to get it to Lafleur. You hear the gee gee as Lafleur had trouble on the four, checking in front of his own net, covering up as Bork. He flips it out to center ice and back to get it will be Rootsalanen. Rootsalanen dropping it off. That's Lannon. Clearing it down the ice. Back to get it will be Potvan. Potvan behind his own net. Icing is the call. And we'll have a face-off in Team Finland territory. No score in the hockey game. 7.36 left in the first period. Canada Cup 81. We'll continue in a moment. Ron Roosh along with Tom Watt here at the Northlands Coliseum in Edmonton, Alberta for Team Canada's first game in defense of the Canada Cup. The puck is cleared to the blue lines. Kept in by Bossy. Flips it into the corner. Trotje dropping it back. Intended for Bossy. It went off a stick. Arbelius has got it out at center ice for Sebon. Sebon back in over the line. The pass was behind the onrushing forward. And there's going to be a penalty to Team Finland as the puck comes back into the finish zone. And Canada will have an opportunity to try its power play out. Well, Arbelius got a stick right around uh, the Team Canada man. Just pulled his... Uh, him right off here we see his stick coming around later on put a stick over his head pulled him right back and down first penalty for team finland and team canada gets the opportunity to get that power play which was excellent the other night and actually the difference in the game against the soviets was how well team canada played when they had the man advantage and how well they killed penalties against the soviet union two minutes for hooking the time 12 minutes 42 seconds there's the announcement 12 42 hooking to arbelius and Team Canada's power play with a face-off just inside the blue line. Gretzky, Bossy, talk about Gunners, Middleton will get it out of the corner for you. Robinson and Zion on the point as Zion moves in, steals the puck. But it's cleared out by a very alert Pekka Raticalio. Now Robinson cutting in front of his own net. Leads the rush for Canada. Ahead, cleared over the line by Gretzky. Middleton is spun around as he went after that puck behind the net. Raticalio, he's checked... Middleton is right on top of him. Bo Bossy knocks it down. He's got Gretzky behind the net. Gets it over to him, but Gretzky couldn't knock it down. Back out to the blue line. Return pass. Gretzky out in front for Dion. He gets it. He shoots. And it went off Matson or a player in front of the net. And went wide. And the puck is pinned against the boards and held for a faceoff. Well, Wayne Gretzky threaded the needle with that pass. Robinson was very alert to keep the puck in at the blue line. Rushing. Fed it back to Gretzky. Gretzky threw it to the far point for Dion to move in. But just a... Sweet pass by Gretzky, just putting that puck across on Dion's stick. 126 remaining in the power play for Team Canada. 644 remaining in the period. The shots on goal even at 7 right now. Here in the first period of a scoreless game. Back to the blue line, Robinson. Robinson drops it in now for Perro. Perro looking for a man in front, looking for that point man. If he can find him, it's back out to Robinson. Robinson position straight ahead shot, and he blasted it right on. Now it's Dion. Dion trying to get it behind the net. It's clear to the point. Pass Lafleur and all the way down the ice. Leutz out of his net. He leaves it for Robinson. Robinson. Deep in his own zone now. Ahead. It's Dion. Dion with a good move as he got by one checker. Hits the line. Dion working past another checker into the corner. Dion cutting in front. Rolls at the peril, but he was checked just as he got the pass. And it's backhanded down the ice by Matty Hagman. Lafleur will go back. 42 seconds left in the power play. Dion, ahead past Robinson. Robinson will circle back, gives to Perro. Perro, the handling by one man. Now here's Dion. Dion with a good move as he comes down the left board. Clears in front. It's deflected over to Gretzky. Gretzky with Perro working the slot. Gretzky out in front. Perro tipped it into the corner. Off the boards for Gretzky. Over to the far point, Lafleur. Lafleur in front. 
And Harrell couldn't reach that one. It was intercepted by Silton. And Silton and circling back with 10 seconds remaining in the power play. Team Canada makes the change. Trotje's out there along with Gillies and Bossy as the puck is cleared down into Team Canada territory. Fork from behind his own net. He's checked on the play. It's off the boards at center ice for Bossy to Gillies. Gillies over the line. And it rolled ahead of him, and Team Finland takes over once again. Potvan, Potvan, over to Bork, back to Potvan, and knocks it down neatly, gives to Trotje. Trotje's over the line to Bossy. Bossy shot! And he rifled that just wide. Now into the corner it goes. In against the boards. There's Bossy again! And a bouncing puck that is scooped up by Matson. He holds on for the faceoff. 449 left in the first period. No score. Canada Cup 81 will continue in a moment. There's Scotty Bowman. I know, Tom, you were impressed. Uh, we all have been impressed about the way he has organized practices and so on and running Team Canada 1981. He's just doing a great job. Never an idle moment during those practices. Everybody working hard. Here's Beck from the face-off. The shot is deflected up into the crowd. We'll have another face-off in Team Finland territory. Well, you know, speaking of Scotty Bowman, you know, he coached the team in 1976 when they won the Canada Cup, and he went right from there to the Montreal Canadiens. Not too many people talked about the job he did then. He went right to the Montreal Canadiens. They set a record in the National Hockey League for the most points ever in the season and won the Stanley Cup, too. A lot of, a lot of pressure on a man. He had a lot of great players, that's true, but he did a great job with them. Canada Cup and the Stanley Cup all in the same year. From the faceoff now, Duguay in the corner. Duguay out in front. Ganey was right there, but he couldn't pick it out of the air. The puck is cleared to the blue line, out to center ice. Here's a two-on-one. Down over the line now, the shot that's wide of the net by Kettle. And off the backboard, gloved by Mike Leute, and he'll hold on for the faceoff in Team Canada territory. And we have not had a lot of faceoffs in this period. Faceoff will be to Leute's left as Team Finland makes the change. And they have got Yellenen out there, who has signed with the Calgary Flames, but will not report to the Flames until after next year's World Championship. This will be held in Helsinki, Finland, and there's a quick shot by Yellenen right off the top. You can see what Calgary saw in him. Buck is in the corner now. Ganey, Ganey clearing it ahead. Here's Goring. Goring has straight ahead to Duque off his skate. And it's back out to center ice. Here's Arbelius. Arbelius to the line. He missed a check there from Goring, and it's rolled in front of the net. Here's Numelin moving in. He's behind the net. He is slammed in against the board by the very muscular Barry Beck. Goring at center ice with Peril. Over to Duque. Duque shot right on the rebound. Came out right past both Goring and Peril. Now behind the net. It's Simon. Simon along the board. Checking getting a little heavy right now. Team Finland out at center ice. Carrying the puck is Rotticalio. He gets it to the line. Englund takes over, rolls it out to the blue line, picks it up himself and feeds it ahead for Gretzky. Gretzky moving in after it. Middleton out of the, the player's box now. Gets the pass from Robinson. Middleton to the line. Middleton cutting through. And he tried to get the shot away, but he was checked partially by Rotticalio to call for a face off for interference. That'll be a penalty. Interference will be the call. And I believe it's going to go to Team Canada. No, it will not. It'll be Finland playing a man short. No score in the game. Canada Cup 81 continues in a moment. Well, Matty Hagman uh, thought that he was really uh, giving it a justice there, going into the corner that Gretzky was tripped going in. And Matty Hagman in the box for the second Team Canada power play. Well, they've got Trotje, Bossy, Gillies, Dion Robinson. Firepower out there now as Gillies takes the shot. It's right on. Batted in by Bossy. They score. Canada leading one to nothing as Bossy picked it right out of the air. Well, that's how you score 60 goals a year. Well, of course, everybody knows how dangerous it is. Here it seems very innocent. Just circling inside the line. The shot was just on. Up in the air. Whoops. There we are. The little tip out of midair. Bossy. And, of course, anytime he's around the net. Here's Gillies just circling after the drop. Just puts that puck a little high. You like to have those shots a little lower from the point. But Bossy, no matter where that puck is, he's always dangerous. See another look at it again. Too high a little at the point, but there he is, whacking it out of midair. 
Team Canada going ahead 1-0. Tom, that looked like a bit of a knuckleball. Matson didn't have it all the way, and that's why he gave up the rebound, uh, which I'm sure he didn't want to do at that particular instance. Canada leading 1-0 on a power play goal. We'll get the announcement in just a moment. And an offside, and uh, it'll be, of course, Bossy from Gillies and Trottier at 16.43 on the power play. Canada leading 1-0. They have outshot Finland now 11-7. Since uh, we reported the shots a couple of minutes ago, when it was 7-7, Canada has outshot Finland 4 to nothing. They've had the benefit of the power play. Now it's center ice. Clears down to the line. Bork throws a check just at the line. Middle and picks up the loose puck. Backhands a pass off to the far side. Gare flips it down over the line. Dion is in there. Dion hammered off the boards. Kim Islandman. Shooting it out over center ice now and down over the line comes Porvari. Porvari drops the pass, gets the return pass, and went through everybody's legs. Bork overskated it. Gare has got it. Gare out at center ice. That pass intercepted. Back in over the line now comes uh, Wickery. There's a quick shot, and Liut makes his finest save of the night. He hasn't had a lot of tough work. And here's Dion cutting in front of his own net, bangs it off the boards for Perro. Perro at center ice as Team Canada changes on the fly. The puck deflected up into the crowd by Hickory, and it'll be called for a face off. Canada leading 1 0. Canada Cup 81 will continue in a moment. Face off outside the blue line, Gretzky, Perro, Lafleur. Line for Team Canada. From the face off, Gretzky loses the draw, but it's back to Beck. Beck. Gets the pass off the boards. Beck with the puck now moving up slowly, then fed it down the ice. He was trying to lead Gretzky with that when it went all the way down behind the Team Finland net and is called on the icing. I think that's the first icing we've had in the period. Am I wrong in that, Tom? Well, we haven't had too many stoppages at all. Very few icings, offside, stoppages in the play. Very little. Kaleva Newmanen, a coach who played 142 times in international play, which is a long time. That's one of two coaches, of course. Is that Newman or is that uh, Makinen? I think that may have been Makinen uh, behind the bench. From the face-off, the puck is cleared out to center ice. It's chipped up into the seats and called for a face-off. So, 145 remaining in the period. Let's switch downstairs now to Bertie Pascal and a preview of our first intermission. And Ron, in our first intermission, an interview with the youngest member of Team Canada, Wayne Gretzky. Highlights of Team USA over Sweden, and Eddie Westfall will have highlights of this game. Gretzky in the corner, play back underway, right in front, and Arrow had a golden opportunity, but never got good wood on the puck as it cut him in front of the net. Now they work it into the slot, but there's nobody there. Puck is cleared out to center ice. Shot in for Barry. For Barry against the boards. Lafleur, Lafleur cutting behind the net. Over for Potvan, he can't knock it down. Leonin, backhand shot, glove by Leut. That would have missed the net, but he stopped further attack by stopping that puck. And here's Perro with that long lead pass from Lafleur. It's bounced out in front of that. Perro battling for it inside the blue line. Taking over now is Finland as Kim Eilenen shoots it out. Out in front of the Finn bench, it's pinned in there by Larry Robinson and held for a base off. Well, there's the big bird, Larry Robinson, as they like to call him in Montreal. Playing very, very well right now. Larry, of course, who went overseas to play for Team Canada during the World Championships in Gothenburg, Sweden, following the elimination of the Canadians by Edmonton in the Stanley Cup first round. Taste of international play. He likes it the two-line pass and we'll be back into the Finland zone for another face-off. 47 seconds remaining in the period as you look at Ilka Sinisalo. Plays with Helsinki, 23-year-old with blinding speed and say maybe the fastest skater on Team Finland. He'll be going to Philadelphia next year. And the face-off out at center ice. Knocked down by Potfen, released by Engblom. Robinson's got it now. Ahead for Duguay, and his pass is behind Engblom. Robinson covering up, cutting across ice. He's got it, clears it straight ahead again, right by everybody. Is Team Canada looking a little sloppy right now. Buck is cleared out over center ice, over two lines, and Gary Corey knocking it down. It'll be called for a face-off. Neither team really doing much right at this moment in the final minute of play. 
Well, I would say that Team Canada, there's only been a few times. Bork, I think, twice, and uh, Dion uh, once or twice. Uh, cutting in front of their own net. Lafleur once. Uh, Scotty Bowman, his heart must have gone a little pitter patter there. Cutting in front of their own net. Almost lost the puck a few times, but I think that's been about the only defensive errors that Team Canada has made in the, in the period. Robinson. Robinson over for Goring. They got him on an offside, and Robinson who feeds that puck ahead so well. Scotty Bowman looking on. Get ahead 10 nothing. he might smile. And again, he might not. He's got a long series, a lot of pressure on Scotty as is on everybody in this series. Robinson. Ganey on the far side. Ganey up the right boards now. Ganey working it in front and coming back with a neat back-checking job is Matty Hagman. Hagman who played in the 1976 Canada Cup as the siren goes to end the first period. Mike Bossy with the only goal of the period at 16.43 on a power play. At the end of the first period, it is Canada 1, Finland nothing. We'll be back with the first intermission in just a moment. Well, the score sheet is a very thin one right now. There's the only scoring play. Bossy from Gillies and Trotchy on a power play at 16.43 of the first period with Matty Heikman in the penalty box for holding. There were two other minor penalties called in the period. The shots on goal, as you see, Canada 11, Finland 8. Finland picking up two of the three penalties so far. Well, Tom, in that first period, I thought a fairly cautious period. Uh, Canada, I, I did think, dominated it, but uh, it was still a, uh, a period that uh, did not open up too much. Well, a good workmanlike period. I, I don't think they got into any serious trouble. Uh, I think sometimes they may have been guilty of overhandling the puck in their own zone instead of moving it quickly, but but really never in trouble and uh, uh, and really uh, had the by far the better of the opportunities. Uh, and uh, as Ed said between periods, I think the, the mystery is uh, really why on, on their opportunities that uh, really the score is still one to nothing because uh, really uh, I don't think the Team Finland has had one single uh, great opportunity at the Team Candonet. All right, set to go in the second period now is from the faceoff, Barry Beck backing into his own zone, clears it straight up, ice, we've got a breakaway, Clark Kelly shoots straight on the rebound, bounces, Roth Matson and into the corner. Behind the net now for Finland, it's Levo. Levo has stopped on the play. It's back out to the point for Potman, feeding it in for Gillies. Gillies clearing it in front. It's bouncing there, and a shot blocked as Trotje cut in front of the net. But that was Bossy that was in front of the net, and Hagman has got the puck now, circling back inside his own blue line. That's Silton, Silton, number four. Silton, who plays here in Edmonton in the regular National Hockey League season, clears it into Team Canada territory. It's cleared right back out to center ice. And Rob DiCaglio goes back into his own zone. And it's called. And there'll be a face-off in the center ice area. Uh, icing is the call as the face-off will be brought back down into Team Canada territory. And Gretzky is going to argue that a little bit. 47 seconds gone in the period. 1-0 Canada leading. There's well, Clark Gillies really uh, had the breakaway. Barry Beck just made the great pass, throwing it right ahead. Marcus Matson coming way out of the net to cut down the angle. And really, uh, it, it would have been a little better, perhaps, if he held on a little, tried to, when he came out of that net, uh, make the shot the second time, taking away that uh, angle that Matson stopped on him. Gretzky getting another lead pass from deep in the Team Canada zone. His shot was over top of the net, around behind the net now, to the far side for Yuka Poivari. Poivari. Clearing it in, Ruth Salinen shooting it right back out again, all the way down the ice, back to touch it will be Brian Engblom, and it's called on the icing and back into Finland territory for another face-off. There's Brian Engblom, who has, I think, reached stardom in the Montreal Canadiens, uh, always played in the shadow of a great defense that included, of course, Serge Savard, Guy Lapointe, Larry Robinson. Very steady defenseman who... Had a tremendous year in 1980-81. Helped his team win the Vezina Trophy again. Puck at center ice. Very back, Engblom can't reach it. As Kim Island shoots it right back into the Team Canada zone. Now Robinson starting out. Robinson to the blue line to center ice. Works to the line. Off the stick of Gretzky. Digging in is Lafleur. Lafleur banged in against the boards. It rolls to the side of the net. Gretzky, Gretzky rolling it across the goal mount. Nobody there. Now here's Lafleur on that pass from uh, Carroll, and Johnny scores! It was tipped 
by Gretzky, I believe, in front. Credit Carroll with the shot and a great pass from Guy Lafleur to start it from the far board. Well, Gilbert Perrault put it right across on Lafleur's stick, and Lafleur held off, waited until the defender went down, and then put a shot, whether or not Gretzky tipped it as the shot came through. There's the pass coming through from Perrault. Lafleur just holds on to it, just nicely, nicely. The band goes down, takes the puck to the side, now he lets the shot go quickly, and it looks like Gretzky did get a stick on it. Wayne Gretzky. Gretzky got a stick on it, the puck is cleared into the corner now. Gretzky credited it with it. We'll get the full scoring in just a moment now. As the puck is cleared out to center ice, cleared off the boards, Dumoulin. And it's center ice once again, a weak pass taken by Zion. Now it's Newmelin cutting across ice. He's got it, backing into his own zone. Gets it the route to Calio, out at center ice. Check thrown there by Hartsburg. Still in the center ice area. gare has got it. Gare chases it himself to the far boards, and Gare's into the corner. Gare circling. Dion is quick shot, and it's blocked by Matson. Now Middleton. Middleton in front, trying to reach that pass for Zion, and it was intercepted. Cleared down to the Team Canada line. Off the boards, Hartsburg intended for Zion. Now on the far side, circling with the puck, working to the boards on this side, is shot in by Rauticalio, and back behind his own net for Team Canada, that's Hartsburg to Zion. Zion at center ice, beating it ahead for Middleton. He couldn't reach it, deep in his own zone, Newmelin, but icing is called to the faceoff back in the Team Canada zone. Well, Canada leads it now by a score of 2 to nothing. Gretzky from Lafleur and Perrault. Canada Cup 81 will continue in a moment. 2.59 gone in the period. Second period of play here at the Northlands Coliseum in Edmonton. Team Canada leading 2-0 goals by Bossy and Gretzky. There's a quick shot. Mike Leute makes the save. Fex behind the net. Leaves it for Potvan. Potvan fans on it. In floor checking and doing a good job is Arbelius. He leaves it for Sevon. Sevon trying to clear it to the point. It's right past everyone. Silton and will get it at center ice. Turns with it. Hammers it off the boards. Beck then feeds it straight down into the Team Finland zone. It's stopped by Matson. No icing on the play as Ganey goes into the corner. It's loose in there. Good job by Ganey. It's in front of the net. The shot. And it's hammered off the boards and out at center ice. Down over the line now on the offside pass is Kerry Yellowman. And it'll be brought back down for, to the point of origination on that pass inside the Team Finland blue line. For a face-off. Well, really, Matson got himself in a little bit of hot water there, too, because if he hadn't have touched that puck, it would have been an icing call. He touched it, the puck stayed in. Team Canada got another great opportunity before that long offside pass, but had he let it go, the puck would have come all the way back in the opposite zone. On the face-off, Goring for checking, hooked in the zone by Ganey, but finally cleared out to center ice. Here's Hagman down to the line now. Hagman, that looked offside. The puck goes into the corner, behind the net now, poked back. Englund's got it. Englund behind the net, clears it into the corner on the far side for Ganey. Ganey out at center ice. Wickery. Wickery's checked by Goring, doing that job we became so familiar with during the Stanley Cup playoffs the last two years. Now clear to the far side. Which Goring of the New York Islanders? Over the line now on the backhand, Cintolo, and covering up on the short side is Liut. Robinson off the boards for Ganey. He's got Duguay at center ice, but he elects to feed it over for Englum. Englum looking for Duguay, but it goes off a leg. Turning with it inside his own zone is Rutzelianen. Rutzelianen, number five, the find a young defenseman. Goring, at least Gillies, back into his own zone. Englum on this side to Bossy. Bossy, a backhand pass intercepted by Kiamalainen. He cuts along his own blue line under pressure from Trottier and the pressure pays off as Bossy takes over. Now here's Hagman. Hagman dropping it into the slot. Tries to get the shot away. Bats at a bouncing puck. Wickery clear to the side of the net. Engblom to the far side for Gillies. Gillies turns. Straight ahead for Bossy. Bossy over the line for Trottier. Trottier parked against the far boards. Bossy beside the net. Bats it out of midair right out in front. Now here's Trottier. Out in front is shot by Gillies. Gillies has been dangerous in this game. He gets it again, takes a shot. It bounces in front of Bossy, missed the rebound. Bossy in the corner. Bossy hooking it to Trottier behind the net. He's checked. Number seven for Finland is Wickery. He goes down and it's called for the faceoff. 15-14, gone in the period, 2-0 Canada. The score, 2-0, Canada leading. Canada Cup 81 will continue in a moment. 
Gretzky, Perro, Lafleur, Bork, out there along with Hartsburg. 14 Canada, the faceoff. Puck is at the side of the net, rolled into the slot by Gretzky, but nobody there. And it's Kiamalanen at center ice. Kiamalanen over the line now, check from behind. Good job by Lafleur on that play. Here's Gretzky to Lafleur. Two on two with Perro. Lafleur's over the line, drops it to Perro. Perro getting set in front of the net, and loose puck, got he scores. Raymond Bork trailing on the play. A two on two that was played almost perfectly. Bork made that a three on two. Well, here we see Lafleur cutting across in front, dropping the puck to Perot. He just shoves it between the defender's legs and Bork. It's very important in this type of hockey that those defensemen move up. They don't stay like they're stapled to the blue line. Guy Lafleur cutting across in front. He attacks the defenseman. Drops to Perot between the legs. Bork moving right up to create the three on two after the play has been made. Tips it in for the third goal. And Team Canada looking to run away with this hockey game now, but they're putting on a tremendous pressure on Team Finland. And they're doing it in the Finland zone, too. Good forechecking is from the faceoff now. It's Siltonen. Siltonen behind the net, clearing it to Lebo. Lebo will recap that goal for you from the official standpoint in a moment as Bork gets it over to Hartsburg. Hartsburg off the boards and hit a linesman. Now inside the blue line, that is Perro. Perro, Hartsburg, right past Lafleur. Back inside the blue line, Lebo. Lebo, over for Yari Khoury. Khoury. Khoury trying to kick it along the boards to Ketela. Ketela works it down into the Team Canada zone. Hartsburg, Bork, at center ice, intended for Gare. And it's cleared in. There is Makunin. Ketela in for checking now. He's got the puck. He's number 13. Tried to get it out in front, and there was Perro. Perro just flips it out to center ice. Gear racing after it along with Levo. Levo backing into his own zone. A rink-wide pass on the far side. And at center ice, it's Risto Siltonen. Siltonen with a good shot. It's gloved by Leut. Cleared around the boards to the far side. Marcel Zion ducks by a check. At center ice. A backhand pass. Middleton's over the line. Gear gets the return pass. He shot it wide, taking the short side. And now it is Ketola. Ketola, center right. Ketola to the line, working for the front of the net is Mackinac, number 23. He got the pass, but he was belted by Middleton. In behind the net now, Ketola. Ketola, circling in the corner. Yavanianen, out in front, point blank range, and a blast that is stopped by Leud in perfect position. Now Ketola again. Beck behind the net, circling in to cover up. And starting out is Dion, and we're going to have an interference penalty called on Denny Potvin. And Finland will have an opportunity to play with a manpower advantage. Team Canada leading 3-0. Canada Cup 81 will continue in a moment. Canada. Denny Potvin, interference, 7-23. Team Canada, a man short the goal to recap it. Raymond Bork from Perro and Lafleur at 5.32, giving Canada the 3-0 lead. Leut out of the net, leaves it for Anglom. He clears it around the boards, out at center ice. Here's Goring. One-on-one -on -one with Silton, and he gets the shot away, but it was a weak one, and it was kicked away easily by goaltender Marcus Matson. All the way down into Team Canada territory. Out of his net as Leut leaves it. Having trouble with it is Englom. Englom circling away from the checking of Hagman. Clears it to the point and out over the blue line to center ice and Silton and backing into his own zone for checking Ganey. Silton and gets the return pass. He'll circle back. That's Goring, number 91, in there for checking. Off on the left side now, Hagman. Hagman shooting it into the corner. Robinson off the board at center ice. Libo for Finland. Back to Silton and Silton and ahead. Sinisalo. Sinisalo, loose puck as Team Canada continues to pressure the puck carrier. Siltonen, Siltonen with Ganey right on top of him. Siltonen over the line. Siltonen dropping it back for Corey. Corey into the corner around the far side for Mackinnon. Mackinnon dropping it off. They try to set up in front of the net. Now it's dropped up to the point for Levo is shot. And Leut steers into the corner. Hagman, Hagman looking for the man. Gets it out to the point for Levo. Back to Hagman. Hagman backs up against the far boards. Gets it out to the point. It's knocked down by Siltonen, but he can't keep it in. Over to the far side, Lebo, clearing it in, Robinson going in after it. On top of him is Kerry Makinen, taken by Brian Englom. Englom with Duke leading, and a two-line pass. Uh, offside, back into Team Canada territory for the faceoff with 21 seconds remaining in the penalty to Denny Potvin. 
Well, again, Team Canada, they're getting a, an appreciative hand from the crowd here. Duguay uh, doing a great job killing penalties. All of those penalties, Goring, Ganey. That was the secret in being the Soviets uh, the other night, and so far tonight they've continued doing the great job. Talking to Scotty Bowman, he says it's almost necessary because you take a lot of penalties in this international hockey that you have three sets of forwards who can kill penalties, and he's certainly got a lot in, uh, in, in the players that he's been using. He's been using a lot of different combinations. On the faceoff now, as you saw, a shot of Al McNeil. There's the lead pass intended for Duque. It's going to go all the way down the ice. Going after it back there is Russell Leonard. He cuts around behind his own net, leads the rush himself. Look at the job that Duque is doing. He comes across the blue line, and he gets ahead. Now you know why Ron Duque made this hockey club. Down over the line is Mackinac. Mackinac checked by Duque. Puck is loose in front of the net, and Kendall got a shot that was weak and wide. Duque behind the net. Duguay off the board, Middleton steering it out to center ice for Potvan, Potvan getting it to Bork, two defensemen breaking in, Bork with the shot, and it's steered into the corner by Matson. Now a clearing rink-wide pass by Rutzelianen, out at center ice, bouncing puck, it gets by Bork, in over the line now, three on one, and a great defensive play by Craig Hartsburg as he got his stick in front of it, then blocks that shot from the blue line, Hartsburg. Hartsburg working to the blue line to center ice, gets it to Trottier. Trottier dropping it back for Gillies. His shot right on the rebound, and Boston skated right by it. Now it's Yabadianen. Yabadianen out at center ice, is knocked down out there, cleared down over the line by Leonin. Now Gillies. Gillies has been very strong in this hockey game. Gillies ducking by a check. Now carries it to the line. Unable to get past the defense. Bossy's got it. Bossy against the boards. He is knocked to the ice. The puck is underneath him, and it's called for a face-off as we pass the midway point in the hockey game. 10-27 gone in the second period, and Canada leading by a score of 3 to nothing. As you see, Mike Bossy, one of the great scorers in National League hockey history. Reunited a line that was not together for most of last year with Gillies playing the left side. Most of last year, Bob Bourne was on that line. Gilly's really playing well here tonight. Puck cleared into the corner. Trottier, Trottier slammed in against the board. Good, solid check taken in there. Puck is against the board. Cleared out on a backhand to center ice. And dropped back into Team Finland territory. Finland starting out. Trying to control it is Tapio Levo. Levo. Straight ahead, he put it right through the legs of Kim Island. And now here's Canada. Well, look at the moves by Gretzky. Here he comes. Gretzky at center ice, feeding it ahead. Gretzky gets it again on a pass from Gillies. And with Gretzky trapped inside the blue line, called on an offside. Score, Canada three, Finland nothing. Canada Cup 81 will continue in a moment. Here in the second period, Team Canada out shooting Finland 18 to five. Canada has scored two goals here in the period. Gretzky from Lafleur and Perro at 150. Bork from Perro and Lafleur at 532. The goal in the first period on a power play. Bossy from Gillies and Trottier. Canada leading 3 0. Potvan inside the zone. Working in deep now. He's ridden in against the boards by Rotacalio. Rotacalio is number nine back there. Gets the puck in the corner. Rotacalio. Cutting in front of his own net. Now feeds it out to center ice. Barry Beck moves up. Knocks it down, shoots it ahead. Numelin, Numelin against the boards. Number 18 down there is Sevon back in over the line. Now dropped off for Lafleur. Lafleur shot, and he blasted it wide. That was appeared to deflect in front of the net. Lafleur trying to get it to Perro. Now Lafleur throwing a check on Sevon as he tried to get out of the zone. Here comes Lafleur again, trying to get it to Gretzky. Gretzky ridden out of the play, fights his way past Numelin into the corner. Now behind the net intended for Perro. That was intercepted as Numelin got back there and it's out at center ice once again. Here's the long shot. It's deflected wide. The shot taken by Yorma Sivon. In the corner, Lafleur back for Potvan. Lafleur covering up now behind the net. Lafleur trying to feed it past Sivon. Lafleur leaves for Potvan to Gretzky. Gretzky up the right side. Wayne Gretzky over the line. Beck cutting in front of the net, but he drops it back for Perro. Getting set of your scale, shooting his goal. Beautifully set up as Beck acts it as a decoy on the play. Again, we see the importance of defensemen moving up when they get the opportunity. Barry Beck went straight to the net, and he never figured in that play, but there he goes to the net. 
The defender has to come with him, check them. That leaves Gare, who's coming late on the play, free to go to the net with the shot. Gretzky lays the pass over. Here we see the second drop pass, but Beck taking that last defender. There you see Barry Beck off the side of the net with the defender. The importance again of a defensive moving up as Bork did on the previous goal. Gare from Perot and Gretzky at 12.25, 4 nothing Canada. Buck is there down the ice once again. A slick passing we've seen. Puck is behind the net. I guess we can expect that with NHL All-Stars involved as the puck is chopped out in front of the net. Robinson, not in over the blue line, couldn't contain it. Now gives it to Englom. Englom back in over the line for Middleton. Middleton with Gare cutting in front. There's the shot as they tipped it wide of the net. Gare cutting in from the right side. And the faceoff will be outside the blue line. Another good opportunity for Canada. Well, Marcus Matson uh, looking for a little bit of a breather here. All kinds of uh, pressure putting on him. A backhand pass all the way across in front of the net. And Danny Gare almost had a second one within a minute. Just skating in front, tipped it over top of the net. Now from the faceoff, Robinson. Robinson ahead, Middleton. Middleton couldn't control it. Hagman puts it to an open wing. It's Gare. Gare now working his way through center ice. Shoots it in, digging in after it is Marcel Dion. In there is number five, Rutzelian, in as well. For Team Finland. Now behind the net, Corey. Corey is knocked down. Back out to the point for Engblom. He winds up. The shot is blocked in front of the net. As cutting in front was Dion. And now here comes Team Can Team Finland. Corey over the line along with Hagman. There's a shot. It's blocked by the defense. It's down on his knees as Engblom. Buck kicked away. Middleton ahead for Duque. Breaking straight up ice, but he ran into a player, Rutzelian, and then came across. Knocked it down. Shot it over to the far side. To an open wing, moving up is Englund. Englund straight ahead. It's deflected past Keeney to Duque. There's Goring in front of the net as Duque tries to get it to him. Duque now behind the net to Goring. It hops over his stick. Hagman there. Hagman along with Goring. A battle. Keeney moves in. Keeney pokes it free. Here's Keeney with Duque alone in front. They clear it right through everybody. Bork with a quick shot. Duque shoots. Duque again. Quickly shooting. Again. It's loose in front and still loose. And finally, Agma moves in and takes it out of harm's way. Up to center ice it comes. Hartsford. Over for Bork. Bork. Ahead for Ganey. Here's Bossy. Bossy two on one. Bossy said clears it in front. Good defensive play by Ritzelianen. Now along the board. Gillies. He can't contain it. It's out at center ice for Kettela. Kettela over the line offside. Kettela broke too quickly on the left side. We'll have a face-off outside the Team Canada blue line. The score, Canada 4, Finland nothing. Canada Cup 81 will continue in a moment. 5.24 left in the second period. 4 nothing Canada. Gilbert Perrault with two assists in the game. Make that three assists for Gilbert Perrault. He has assisted on the three goals in this period. Back in his own zone, Risto Siltonen backing up, beating it ahead. Mackinnon, Mackinnon rink wide on the far side, Yabanianen, he's knocked down, or at least it's knocked away from him, and Hartsburg bounces it in, digging in his Troche, Troche, Bossy knocked that out of the air, gets it again as he cuts into the slot, winds up, shoots, and it's deflected by Troche right on. Into the corner it goes, after it, Bork, Bork in front, Troche over for Gillies, and the pass was too high for him to knock down. Now Bork keeping it in. Bork doing a good job along the blue line now as Gillies tries to feed it through. Bossy in front for Troche. Just can't find the net. Hartsburg, Troche, Troche fighting for it. Team Canada pinning Finland in. It comes to the blue line. Can't... Hartsburg can't knock it down. Bork's got it at his line. Feeds it back. Hartsburg. Hartsburg cutting across his line to center ice. Hartsburg with LaFleur now and Perro. Perro gets the drop pass. And it's knocked away as he never had control of it by Lebo. Knocked to the blue line, not out. Here's Gretzky, his shot, and it's blocked at the defense. Siltonen getting in the way of that one. Now out over center ice, Barry Beck cutting back into his own zone for it. He's with Potvin out there as a defensive pairing. Beck, Beck down to the line. Beck still with that puck. Beck just wrists it over now. Gare out to Potvin, his shot right on, hit the boost. He hit the boost. Leoninen. Now Perro, Perro Gretzky, Perro, try to get it in front, Gretzky was circling back into the corner, now a lead pass, Kiam Island, now down to the line, the shot, good save there, as Leut just got his pad out, now it's center ice, Gretzky along with Perro, Gretzky, Gretzky, 
circling back towards the boards. Gretzky over for Potvin. His shot right on. And it's gloved by Marcus Matson. The old Don will have a face off. Team Canada just threading the run, run away and hide here. They're just uh, throwing the puck around at will. The Team Finland having great difficulty getting the puck out of their own end. Actually having great difficulty getting their stick on the puck to try and get it out of their own end. And Marcus Matson standing in there doing the best he can. Uh, actually has made some great saves to, to keep the score as low as it is. But in this period, especially in the last seven or eight minutes, Team Canada has completely dominated uh, the show, controlling the puck at all times. For the faceoff now, Engblom's shot drifts just wide of the net, bounces all the way back out to center ice. That's Larry Robinson going back into his end for it. Robinson with that familiar number 19. Robinson straight ahead at center ice. Gear just deflects it. Knocked down there by Rutticalio. He clears it to center ice. Engblom turning with it. Gives it to Robinson. Robinson ahead for Dion to Gear. Dion cutting for the net as Gear gives it the middle to the gate to Dion and uh, batted out of the air. Home run, Matson. As he set it 15 rows up. One way to take the pressure off. And Canada moving that puck around so very well. As you look at Danny Gare, who was picked for Team Canada in 1976, Tom, but missed most of team, uh, the effort that year because of a back injury. Well, Danny Gare, uh, certainly in the National Hockey League, he's one of the premier players and very important to the Buffalo Sabres. And he's the type of guy that's a driving force on a hockey team, not only with his ability, but his influence inside the room. Buck behind the net now, Ritz Leonen. Gare, Gare working for the corner. Gare circling back to the corner with Hankman on top of him. Now Dion. Dion trying to clear it. He gets it to Middleton. Middleton flipping it over to the boards on this side. And starting out now, it's Sinsalo. Sinisalo ahead. Dion. Dion with Hankman getting around him, but he put it right on. Robinson stick. Race for the puck now past center ice, and Gare just lets it go. We'll have an icing here as Sinisalo picks it up behind the net. Shots this period. Canada 14, Finland 6. Probably tells the story. Canada's outscored Finland 3 0 here. 4 0 is the score in the game. Canada Cup 81 will continue in a moment. 225 left in the second period. Canada leading 4 0. Ganey, Duguay out there as so we had a false start on the faceoff. Goring taking the draw against Veli Pekka Ketula, who will try out for Colorado at the age of 33. And here's Duguay getting that lead pass again. Boy, he's been a threat through center ice, hasn't he, for a checker? Well, that's the, that's the old alley-oop play. Uh, Team Canada won the draw. They just lifted high in the air. Both wingers, Duguay and Ganey, were streaking out of their own zone. Uh, hoping uh, that the puck just drops and, and they're able to, either the puck uh, precedes them across the red line or they're able to touch it before the red line to be onside. alley -oop. Behind the net now, it's Hartsburg for Team Canada. Working slowly out, beats it straight ahead. Here's Goring. Goring down to the line. Goring beating it off. Here's Duke getting set. He shoots and he just missed the far side. Out to Hartsburg. He bats it over top of the net. Goring behind the net. Goring looking for a man. Rolls it in front of Ganey. Cutting through. Shot it over top of the net. Now Livo, number eight for Finland. He's checked by Goring. Goring looking for a man. Gets it out in front. Duque was on his backhand. Couldn't get the shot away. Goring behind the net. Goring knocked to the ice by Livo. Now along the board. Moving in his Bork. Bork backhanding it into the slot. Duque again. But he is checked and Kittler comes to center ice. Kittler checked by Bork. Hartsburg. Hartsburg around the net. Ganey on the far side. Working to center ice. Just... Flips it ahead, Bossy moving in, Ganey's cutting for in front of the net, it rolls in front of the shot, the rebound, Bork is there, in front, and a quick shot that was wide by Trotsky, didn't get good wood. Now behind the net, Bossy cutting in front, he shoots the score. Mike Bossy, his second goal of the game makes it 5-0 Canada. Team Canada doing a superb job again, the importance of a defenseman moving up. You see Bork right in front of the net there. The puck uh, uh, didn't get through the first time. Bossy holds on to it, holds on to it in front of that. Look at that havoc that Trache is creating, dragging those defenders to him. Bossy just walks out in front of that, holds on to it. He's still got Bork there, the puts that puck right up over top of Matson. But that's the importance of being patient and moving that extra man up there. Trache doing a good job in front of that net, keeping the defenders busy. Bossy from Trotje and Ganey at 18.46, 5-0 Canada now. Shots total in the game, 27-14 favor Canada. Beck gets it in the zone. Backhands a pass to Potvan. 
Botvan feeding it straight up ice. That's Gillies at center ice. Gillies over for Beck. Beck to the line. Bossy, Bossy tried to feed it back to Potvan. He was breaking in. The puck deflected, and Trache's got it. Trache loses it. It's Kim Island with a shot from a bad angle. Beck's got it to Gillies. Gillies ahead for Trache. Trache tried to wrist it right by Nomalini. He trapped it against the boards, and it winds up up in the crowd. Well, second intermission coming up in just a couple of moments. Down with a preview of what we're going to see. Bernie Pasco. Our second intermission will have comments of Canadian hockey fans on the Canada Cup. A tribute to one of the Soviet Union's all-time greats, Valerie Harlamov. And Eddie Westfall will have the highlights of the first 40 minutes. All right, Bernie, face off in the center ice area. Back inside the line, Rutzelianen. Now starting out is Wickery. He's checked on the play. Perro in there. Here's Lafleur. Lafleur moving in, trying to feed it through. Gets the shot away himself as it was blocked, and he got the puck back. Now Lafleur, Gretzky behind the net, it's rolled out in front, Perro is there, Perro to Gretzky, Gretzky looking for that man, he's dangerous behind the net, he shoots, he scores! Went out himself with everybody tied up looking for Lafleur and Perro, and how often have we seen that? Well, a comment was made here that Gretzky's the only man in hockey that can create havoc standing still. Stopping in that famous position behind the net, then he moves around, comes right out in front, all the havoc and just jams it underneath Madsen to the far corner. And we've seen him so often how he works from behind that that just comes right around and slides it with Robinson coming right in off the point. There's Robinson breaking from the point as Gretzky comes around. All that traffic in front of the net. He's got lots of time to move around and tuck it underneath. All right, final moments of the period. The siren goes. Gretzky from Perro and Lafleur at 19:54 caps off a. Uh, Tremendous period for Team Canada in the period they outscored. Finland five to nothing in the hockey game. They lead after two periods, six to nothing. We'll be back with the second intermission in a moment. And we're back at Northland's Coliseum in Edmonton with Team Canada leading Finland by a score of six to nothing. Chief organizer of Team Canada and the Canada Cup. Alan Eagleson, and uh, Alan, I know there were some frustrating periods getting Canada Cup 81 off the ground, but it's rolling, especially when you consider some of the results today. That, that game in Winnipeg, uh, obviously a 1-1 tie between Czechoslovakia and the Soviet Union, certainly helps things as far as the tournament. No question about that, Bernie. I see the lead article in the Edmonton Journal tomorrow, headlined by one of the writers, Eagleson gives Zamboni a flat tire. <laughs> 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 it's here. It was a lot of work. A lot of support, a lot of people worked diligently towards getting it here. The Soviets, the Czechs, the Finns, the Swedes, the American team, most of all our own players to take up their time and commitments from their families to play for their country. And when you see the way they're jumping out there tonight with enthusiasm and pride, I'm glad we all worked so hard to have it take place. I'm sure a lot of Canadian fans second-guessing the uh, fact uh, the coaches had to make the big decision to... Uh, pair down the team, but when you're dealing with 35 players such as Team Canada had at camp, uh, and perhaps the best 35 players not only in the National Hockey League, but in the entire world, it had to be a very tough decision. Well, I think Daryl Sittler put it as well as anyone could. He was much prouder being the number 35 guy on our team than being the number 36 waiting at home. And Daryl, to you, and to Steve Shutt, and to all of the other players on our club, uh, Stevie Payne, and, and uh, Mike Gartner, I can't name them all, but thanks for what you did. As I told you when you were here, we made a commitment as a team, and we're going to stick together as a team. We want all of you working with us and cheering for us. Alan, nothing exemplifies the word class any better than the way the players that were released handled it because uh, man for man, they took it and they uh, headed home, and uh, that is class, and that's... Uh, a great summation of uh, the organization. It's been tough. The people who need the thanks, though, are the people who have supported it, the sponsors, and the individual man in the street in Edmonton and Winnipeg 
uh, have really come through for us. We now can announce that it's a sellout for the final. There are about a thousand seats left for the semifinal, a couple of thousand for the Canada-Russia game. They'll go on sale on an individual basis tomorrow in Montreal. We have uh, seats, of course, left for the semifinal in Ottawa in the Sweden-Czechoslovakia game. We've got about 12,000 seats sold here for Russia-USA on Saturday, which could, as you said, Bernie, on the basis of today's results, be a very crucial game. Winnipeg fans saw, I'm sure, a great game that, uh, uh-oh, I bl I'll be blamed again. <laughs> Not only the Zamboni, but... <laughs> what else can happen? As long as we keep going like that on the ace and the team keeps playing, we can survive anything else. Okay, we're going to get out of here because there's a purple cloud coming up above. <laughs> Our thanks to Alan Eagleson. We hope to have uh, Mr. Eagleson back at the conclusion of this game. Let's move upstairs now, and here's Tom Watt and Ron Roos. Good grief, what's going on down there? You can see the Zamboni slowly making its way around the ice here at the Northlands Coliseum. Tom, uh, we've talked so much about the performance of Team Canada here in this hockey game, but it's uh, been an interesting training camp. I think there have been some surprises that uh, we've, we've seen. Certainly two individuals have, have stood out and surprised people. The first has been Rick Middleton, who uh, even the players were raving about the, about the way he uh, he played during the training camp and, and led to his selection on this hockey team. Well, Rick Middleton is a slick hockey player. I mean, he can uh, he can shove it between your legs and make defensemen look foolish, and he's uh, poison around the net. And we saw him on one occasion tonight, a uh, perfect backhand pass, uh, rink-wide, putting it right on a Danny Gare stick for a goal. Uh, he's a slick hockey player, and... Uh, I mean, you've got so many slick hockey players to, to choose from. I, I guess you were referring, too, to Ron Dugay, who wasn't expected, as everybody has said, to, to really play very well, or, or a lot of people were shocked that he was even invited to come. I, I can tell you that I was one. Uh, I didn't... Uh, uh, I was a little surprised when he was invited, but certainly uh, the way he's performed, he's uh, sort of a helter-skelter player. Uh, you need players to play in this competition that have got legs and uh, will work hard, and certainly uh, Ron Dugay is one of the players who, who can skate with anybody in the world, and uh, that's very important in this type of hockey. Uh, I, I don't know, uh, Alan Eagleson was, uh, was saying there uh, when he was being interviewed that he was going to be blamed for... Uh, you know, for uh, having a flat tire in the Zamboni. But actually, I think that uh, towards the end of that period, probably Marcus Matson, uh, when he was being rained with shots, as soon as the period was over, ran around and let the air out of the tires so that he'd have a little more time in the dressing room to catch his breath before this, this onslaught, really, because uh, in the second period, Team Canada took right over the hockey game, and Team Finland certainly was, was reeling. Any time that you get five goals in one period, uh, the differentiation and the shots being what it was, uh, certainly, uh, Team Canada, the powerful group, is is going ahead here, and, and really it's just now a question of how many. Well, looking at the, uh, I guess it was predictable, looking at it, when you have a line like Gretzky, Perro, and Lafleur, that uh, they would score a lot of points, but they have a total of 10 scoring points in the game now in a 6 nothing game. Gretzky has two goals and one assist. Perro with four assists, playing uh, really a strange position for him uh, on the left side. And Guy Lafleur uh, with three assists. I think one of the coaching moves by, by Scotty Bowman that really paid off uh, was moving him to the left side in much the same way that he moved Daryl Sittler in the 76 uh, tournament to the to the left wing. And, and it paid off with the, the uh, tournament winning goal in overtime in the second game of the best of three final. Well, I know that Scotty Bowman believes that a good hockey player can play in any position. And uh, he's done it, as you say, with many players. He did it... Uh, uh, with with players on uh, on, his, on his own hockey club, both when in uh, Buffalo and uh, in in Montreal, and uh, uh, Jacques Lemaire, I think, is a case in point who uh, played both at left wing and center, and and Scotty Bowman used him in a number of uh, of uh, situations, and always performed well. Certainly, a great hockey player who could play anything, and I think that that's true of great hockey players that there's uh, an intuitiveness uh, that they have, there's a feel that they have, and certainly. Uh, uh, Gilbert Perrault, uh, my, my old mentor there, Harry Neal, used to say that Gilbert Perrault, he's the only guy that you shake when it's one on five and he's got the puck because he can certainly do things with a puck that other players can't do. And he's doing things, uh, I think that again, we talk about uh, a surprise, maybe a Gilbert Perrault shouldn't be a surprise, but uh, looking at his play in recent years, he's become a, a much less offense-oriented hockey player. I think he be, he's become uh, concentrated as much on checking as he has on, on playmaking and so on, and yet he seems to have reverted a bit in this is, this tournament into the offensive hockey player that maybe a coach would like to have uh, in a Gilbert Perrault, the tremendous moves that he always had, the slickness, the speed. He's been utilizing it more in an offensive role here in this tournament, perhaps under instructions from Scotty. Well, of course, that's that's the trick, you know. The, the trick is to let a player 
uh, play to his strong point. And certainly Gilbert Perrault is a, a great puck handler and a great skater. And the trick is to let him play to, to, to his strengths. Uh, without sacrificing anything defensively. And, and sometimes, you know, good hockey players, good offensive hockey players can be spoiled by concentrating too much on the defensive part of the game where they, they forget about what they really do well and, uh, and, and really they take away from their offense. And uh, perhaps that happened a little bit to Gilbert Perrault in the last few years, but certainly in playing with, uh, with players like Gretzky and Lafleur, where they can improvise and dip and dart and cross, as we've seen here in the tournament so far, uh, Gilbert Perrault is doing that, and, and certainly uh, I don't think that it's hurt the defensive part of his game. I want to remind the fans, of course, there they are, the upcoming games on the CTV network uh, coming up on uh, Thursday, September 3rd, will be Canada versus the United States. We saw the United States, uh, should we say, an upset over Sweden this afternoon? I don't know. Tony Esposito put in a pretty good hockey game. He was named the outstanding player for uh, Team USA in that game, and uh, uh, they're gonna. We always know what kind of hockey game we're in for a, a real rough, tough, uh, hard-checking type of hockey game. That one should be a very interesting one. September 3rd, Lou Nanny's down here. Uh, interestingly, he's watching because right now he's in second place with Canada and Czechoslovakia, or at least the uh, Soviet Union and Czechoslovakia playing to a 1-1 tie. So that will be an interesting game. That will be uh, 8 o'clock Eastern time on Thursday night. Then Canada, Czechoslovakia. Uh, they surprised some people today, 8 o'clock uh, Eastern Time on Saturday, September 5th. Canada, Sweden, the following Monday, every other day, really. And then uh, on the CTV network, the final game of the regular round, Canada versus the Soviet Union from Montreal on Wednesday, September 9th. Well, uh, maybe the slowest Zamboni in history and the longest intermission. Tom, tell me something about a team that has to sit in a dressing room and wait through something like this when you've really got it going and you're leading 6 nothing. Oh, that's that, that's tough. It's tough at any time when you've got to spend a lot of time there. Well, they take off their skates and they'll take off their jerseys and they'll loosen their pads and they'll put their feet up on the bench and so on and tell funny stories stories and uh, it's, it's always there's always a lot of humor when you're when you've got the, the commanding lead that they have I I think that uh, certainly it, it won't take anything away from their game if, if anything I, I think it may be a little tougher on the finish team you know when when you're down that many goals uh, the attitude is hey come on let's go out there and do the best we can and get this hockey game over with and uh, uh, it was probably a little tougher for Team Finland. They haven't appeared yet on the ice uh, Team Canada coming out in the ice as soon as they can as soon as the Zamboni is off the ice uh, to, to get a little bit of a sweat and get stretching. You see some of the players working on little groin exercises. They don't want to pull a groin here early in the period after so long off. But now Team Finland is back on the ice, and we're just about ready to start the period. Well, I'll tell you, this is the second time Team Finland has had his, his problems the other night against Sweden here. 6-3, uh, to three, the final score, uh, with the Swedes winning it. Final score, but with six minutes left, they finally quit because the lights went out. So Finland getting a little used to it, I guess. Let's recap the scoring in this one. A power play in the first period by Mike Bossy from Gillies and Trottier at 1643. That was after Matty Hagman had gone off for holding. It's the only power play goal in the game. There's the second period summary. Gretzky from Lafleur and Perro. Bork from Perro and Lafleur. Gare from Perro and Gretzky. Bossy from Trottier and Ganey. And then Gretzky coming out from behind the net from Perrault and Lafleur at 1954. Six seconds remaining in the period. Canada out, shot Finland 17 to seven in the second period. So the total shots, as you see them, 28 to 15. Penalties, not a factor. Canada stayed away from them. They ran into all kinds of penalty difficulties in the Soviet exhibition game here on Saturday night. And that was, of course, what sent everybody into the streets raving about Canada's penalty killing. And uh, of course, they won that game three to two. Here are the penalty killers uh, have not had a lot of work. Uh, we've had only a total of four penalties called in the game, all minors to each team. There's Scotty. He's done a great job on this team again. And, of course, history will write how good a job he's done when we get through to uh, uh, the end of the tournament, which will be uh, a week Sunday. Well, there's a goaltender, Marcus Matson. The flooding of the ice is complete. We're all set to go here in the third period. And out there for Team Canada will be the Trottier line. Gillies has played very well here tonight, along with uh, Bossy, centered by Trottier. And for Finland, centering the line is Matty Hagman from the faceoff now. The puck is inside the blue line. Potvan trying to chip it past Hagman. He does out to center ice. Puck is cleared down into the Finland zone. And back to touch it will be Silton, and he's behind the net. And a hard collision behind the net there as flying in on the play was uh, Brian Trotje. Puck is against the boards. Over to the far side, Curry getting it out at center ice for Sinisalo. Here's a hard shot from outside the blue line, easily gloved by Leute. 
Buck is cleared ahead. Here's Gillies. Gillies, rink wide, right through a bunch of legs, and over the line comes Bossy cutting for the net, trying to wrist it past. Uh, they score the rebound. Bossy distracted the attention as he slammed it against the boards. The rebound was back at it in. Seven to nothing. Well, the great pass, uh, really, that uh, the long pass coming out of their zone, and here we see Bossy breaking around the defender, really cute, holding him off with one hand. Matson sprawling, and he falls hard behind the net. Trache just coming behind, tipping that puck up uh, and over. And that's a great skill in itself, you know, when you're that close in, putting the puck over. Again, Bossy holding off the defender, goes by, gets Ladies tripped up by the goaltender, goal. hits hard. Whoop, there's the tip up right under the bar. That's what you need when you're in front of the net. Now, this line isn't doing bad offensively either, as we could expect. 48 seconds in, Trache from Bossy and Gillies. Trache has a goal and two assists in the game now at center ice. Here's a long shot on Leut. Loves it. Leaves it at the side of the net. Engblom. Engblom for Perro. Perro off the boards. Engblom straight ahead. Gretzky. Gretzky checked on the play. His back is poor body. Now Engblom out to center ice. Here's Lafleur. Lafleur with Gretzky. Lafleur. Gretzky. Gretzky cutting for the net. Gretzky back to Lafleur and he fed it straight back onto Leonin and stick. Leonin on the far boards with Lafleur draped all over him. Finally gets it out at center ice. On the right side, Borbari cutting over the line. Perro coming back on the play. Backhands the pass around for Lafleur on the far side. Lafleur to Perro. Perro out to Gretzky now. Gretzky with Perro with a great move. Sits set in front and he was tripped up from behind. Gretzky, what a move. Tremendous as Marcus Matson goes down. He holds on and Gilbert Perro is getting a hand for the pass here in Edmonton. Well, that's what we talked about one on five. Well, look at this. How do you do? Just slips by. Where did that puck go? The defender looked at the puck. He uh, tried to poke it away. Tripped up by Matson sprawling. But just a tremendous move by Gilbert Perot. And that's what fans are looking for when they see Gilbert Perot in full flight because he's really tricky with that puck. On the faceoff, there's a shot from the blue line by Hartsbury. Goes with the kind of moves that made Punch Imlach make Gilbert Perot his number one draft choice. The very first draft choice that hockey club made. The junior coming out of the Montreal Junior Canadiens. There's a shot by Hartsburg. Over on the far side now, Mackinnon. Mackinnon, around behind the net. And out at center ice it comes now, past Gear over to the far side. Reaching for it is Curry, he can't get it. Bork off the boards, banged off ahead for Middleton on the left side. Middleton, intending it for Zion, trailing on the play. It's intercepted by Ketela. The veteran, Ketela, circling to the far side. At center ice. Nomalin. Nomalin. Working it to the line. There, Mackinnon's got it. And it's offside at the line. Called for a face-off. And both teams will make a change. As you see, Marcel Dion come to the penalty bench. Dion did not, and I think he will admit it, have what you'd call a great training camp. Getting a regular shift in this game, although many thought that uh, perhaps his role would be largely a power play specialist. Right now, he's working with Duguay and Ganey. Penalties have not been a factor, so the Ganeys and the Duguays and the Goring have uh, played a regular shift. Here's Goring feeding it out in front. Ganey cutting across in front. Couldn't reach it, but he's got it again. Ganey back for Beck. Beck chipping at it, trying to get it ahead, but it's poked away by Corey out to center ice. Heikman's down over the line. His shot is wide. Beck. Beck has checked on the play. They roll it in front. And here comes Canada. Leading the rush is Potvin at center ice with Goring. Potvin to the line. Potvin to Goring. He gets it. He shoots. And Matt's it down. He scores. Slid it in underneath. A sliding Marcus Matson And it's now 8 to nothing. Well, there's nothing to this game, is there? The puck came loose in front of the net. Potvin just took off with that puck. Just a sweet pass. Laying it through between the defenders. Goring cutting across in front. Matson did get a piece of it and then sprawling knocked it under himself. But just threads the needle with that pass between the defenders to the side. Goring slips it. Matson has it for a moment. And then it slides underneath him for the goal. Well, the checkers come up with a goal here. Goring from Potvin at 318. 8 nothing now. And over the line, Dugay. What comes at center ice for Leonin. Leonin unable to get it. Ganey cutting in front of his own net. Here he comes. Ganey at center ice. Ganey hooking it out for Goring. It's intercepted. Coming right back in is Leonin. Leonin checked from uh, behind by Goring. Duque racing after it, but beating him to it is Rutsalainen. Rutsalainen to the far side. Nomalin 
Ahead now at center right. Hard check there thrown by Potvan. Bossy working his way ahead. Now circles back. Bossy to Potvan. Potvan. Lead pass on the far side. Deflected off the stick of Kim Allenen. Behind the net now. Gillies. Bossy against the boards. Bossy loses it. It's out at center right. There's Javinen over the line, but he's stopped. Engblom to the far side, cutting across is Nomalin. Nomalin, number three, goes down, checked by Gillies. Buck is out at center right once again. Bossy over skates it, moving in now. Trying to get set in front of the net is Engblom. Buck is cleared straight out to the blue line. Bossy shot, it drifts wide of the net off a stick. In against the boards. Robinson moving in. He chips it into the corner for Trache in front. Now Bossy ahead for Gillies on the backhand. And his shot is steered into the corner. Trache. He is checked. Moving it out on the right side now. As Shavannon. Arrow. Arrow over to the far side. Engblom to Arrow. Arrow at the blue line at center ice. Circling back now on top of him. Number 23 is Mackinan to Robinson to Perrault at center ice. Ahead for Lafleur. Lafleur's over the line. Lafleur looking for the man in front, and he fed it behind Perrault. Now out at center ice. Javin, and he goes. He's checked from behind as Lafleur did a great job coming back at the hand from the crowd. Now Engblom moving up. Drops it to Gretzky. Gretzky alone in front of the net. Shoots. Oh, what a save with a great move, that deceptive move. Now at center ice, once again, is down over the line. Curry, Curry's check. Here comes Gretzky again. The great Gretzky at center ice. Good move, poked away from him. It's down over the line again into finished territory. There to head for Curry at center ice. Curry to the far boards. He's checked by Bork. The shot is wide of the net. It comes to the blue line. Stilton shot, kicked away the rebound. And it's blocked at the defense. Now here's Gare on the right side at center ice. Gare over the line for Gretzky offside. Gretzky preceded the puck over the line. End to end action here with Canada leading eight to nothing. Canada Cup 81 will continue in a moment. Marcel Dion out there with Middleton and Gare. On the face off, it goes past Middleton. They get it out to center ice, and it's put right on the stick of Garrick here, trying to hit the line. He stopped on the play by Hoikery. Now here's Dion coming back for it, gives it to Middleton. Middleton stops up, shoots it rink wide, past Gare. For Finland, Leonen. At center ice for Ruth Leonen. There's the hard shot. Buck is cleared behind the net by Bork. Bork comes back the other way. Bork stick handling, beats it off the board. Middleton can't control it. Bork again. Now against the boards, Middleton. Middleton rattling it around to Gare. Gare circling. Straight up ice, and he nearly hit Dion at center right. The puck rolls off his stick, going back for it as Rusalian, and he touches it. Icing will be the call. Well, I think uh, it's important to remind the fans, too, that uh, Team Canada turning it on with the score being 8 nothing. that in a series like this, it's important every goal you get and every goal that's scored against you because it is possible uh, in such a short series as this when there are a couple of teams that are tied four points uh, in, a, in a short series that uh, your position may be determined by the goal spread. So it's important. You get as many goals as you can each game, and you have as few scored against you as possible. The face off, a screen shot, kicked out by Leut. Leut shooting it into the corner. Goring. Goring stopped at the line and hops high in the air behind everybody, but Ganey's right there, and he works it out to center ice. Ganey along with Goring and Duguay. Duguay gets it in front of the net, and he just couldn't put his stick to it. Beck has it at center ice. Beck ahead for Goring. He is blindsided by Numelin. The puck comes back. Now Goring again. Numelin and Goring. Come together twice there. Now Ketela, number 13. He can't control it against the checking. Mackinan now fed to an open wing, tracking it down and circling into his own zone as Numelin out at center ice. Potvin. Potvin. To Beck. Beck. Bearing it intended for Duguay, breaking on the right side. The buck is cleared right back into Team Canada territory. Liu shovels it off. Around the boards. Ganey can't knock it down. Goes all the way down into Team Finland territory. Look at this. This is Duque. Duque was onside. Behind the net. Great hustle. Trache. Duque. Duque with Gillies right out in front. He scores. Ron Duque did the work. And Finland went to sleep. 
Well, you can't do that. That was an easy goal, and it just resulted from a lot of hustle. Dugay just forcing the play inside that zone. Onside with his hustle. Throws the puck out in front. Gillies has no problem putting it there. But a lack of hustle uh, by the Finnish team getting back in proper position allows uh, Dugay to get control of that puck before they were get able to uh, get back there and set up in their own zone. Tremendous hustle team by Dugay, a lack of hustle by Team Finland. Nine to nothing for Team Canada. Gillies from Dugay and Trotje at 7.56. Nine nothing. Watching a route, fans, as the puck is cleared in. Digging in after it is Gillies. And icing will be the call as the puck will be brought back down uh, in the Team Canada zone for the faceoff. Eight minutes, ten seconds gone in the third period. The shot's on goal now. 36 to 19 favor Canada. And Marcus Matson. He's just wishing that he could find a nice soft bed somewhere. Wishing the Zamboni point. hadn't got fixed. Yeah. Face off to the right of the Team Canada zone. Hagman facing off against Trottier. Being a great display of offense on Team Canada's part. Gillies trying to break out. He stopped at the blue line. There's a shot kicked away by Leute, who's been alert in this game. He's had a few saves to make. And it's intercepted. Now, out in front of the net, there's a shot. Whistled wide of the net by Hagman. Gets the boards, Trottier. Trottier to Gillies at center ice. Gillies digging after it. Now feeds it in. Trottier digging in. Behind the net, Trottier along with Levo, and it hops up in the air. Marcus Matson just prevents further play and hangs on. Five points for... The score is Canada 9, Finland nothing. Canada Cup 81 will continue in a moment. Well, we've got a bookkeeper up here to keep track of the point scoring in the game. The leading point man, uh, leading point men, really. We've got two of them. Are Trottier and Perrault, each with four points. Trottier with a goal and three assists. Perrault with four assists in the game. There's Lafleur chipping it past Perrault at center ice. Now Lafleur going after it against the boards. Hartsburg moves in as well. You can check very closely by Huikere. And there's Perrault. Dropping it back. Gets the return pass. And we're going to get a slashing call called by Vladimir Schubert, the Czechoslovakian referee, who really hasn't had an awful lot of work to do in this game. Hartsburg is going to draw the slash. Coming at the 8.58 mark of the period. The referee in the game, Schubert, from Czechoslovakia, Kevin Collins of the United States, one of the linesmen, along with Alexander Fedotov of the Soviet Union. Now so out come the penalty killers to get a bit of work as Goring is with Ganey. Potvan and Beck defensively. And the power play centered by Leninen, along with Kiamilinen. As the puck is cleared down the ice, back there is Rutsalinen. He's behind the net, bangs it off the boards. And Finland will start out. Cleared off the stick of Leninen. The center right. Beck's right there. Leninen gets by him. Porvari's there too. Porvari's alone. And he was picked from behind by Bob Keeney, who showed a lot of hustle. Now it's golfed down the ice by Goring. Marcus Matson out of the net. He leaves it there. And Finland starting out. Leninen. Kimalainen, Leininen, number 15, fake the shot, checked by Potvan. Potvan goes down with the puck underneath him. He prevents further action there. 117 left in the power play. Well, I think everybody in Team Canada now is really saying with uh, the halfway point in the third period, let's uh, try and give uh, Leut the shutout uh, because uh, really it's important to cut down those goals against in a game. You know, it's very easy when you get nine goals in a hockey game for everybody to go to the net and forget about defense, and I think that everybody now will be pulling for Mike Leut. Ganey, Ganey clearing it out over the blue line now. Makinen, Makinen at center ice, Ketela. Kettle is checked on the play by Goring. Now it's over the line again. Kettle going after it. Potvan backing up and then flipping it out to center ice. Rob Galio at center ice. Right ahead. Checked by Middleton. There's Beck. Beck shoots it out and down the ice. And we've got 47 seconds remaining in the power play. Nomalin. Cleared out over center ice by everybody. Back to touch it will be Engblom. Icing will be the call on the Finns. And back into Finland territory for the faceoff. Well, really, that's showing the pressing, uh, really, of, of Team Finland trying to get that long breakaway pass. When you have the man advantage, you don't need to throw that pass that long. You can take your time. You've got the man advantage. Work it out. Look for the open man. 
Trying to get that long pass, trying to get that breakaway is not really necessary when you've got the man advantage. And it shows a little bit of the frustration uh, on the Finns' part. Shots and goal at this stage of the third period, 8-5, to five, favor Canada. Behind the net, Siltonen, Risto Siltonen, the Edmonton Oilers defenseman. Now, another Edmontonian at center ice trying to work it up ice was uh, Hagman. Now straight ahead past Duguay and down into Finland territory. Back there to get it is Siltonen. Siltonen around the boards. Sinisalo. Sinisalo, good move as he got by Middleton. Siltonen trying to get to it on the boards. Past Duguay at center ice now. Down to the line. Carrying it is Sinisalo. Into the corner on the far side, Corey. Corey checked by Robinson. Hagman all alone behind the net on a blind pass from Robinson. Gets it out in front. There's a quick shot just wide of the net. I don't know whether Liu touched that or not. Corey behind the net. Into the corner for Hagman. Hagman to Corey. It was around a little bit, but now Canada will pick it up against the boards as Hartsburg is out of the penalty box and out at center ice. Hartsburg ahead for Duguay. Goes all the way into... Matson, Matson flips it into the corner. Here's Middleton clearing it in front of the net. Is breaking in from the point was Engblom. Now circling out in front, they roll it to Duguay. Middleton, Middleton, Duguay behind the net. Duguay jamming in there. Hagman's there as well. It poked away. Now Sildenen, Sildenen down the ice through the Team Canada blue line where Robinson has it. Robinson backhanding a pass. To his teammate Englom, Englom to Lafleur, another Montreal Canadian digs in. He's got Barrow in front, and he fed it through, but Barrow wasn't in deep enough. Went right through the goal crease. Now Gretzky, Gretzky to the line, and he was stopped as he hit the line. Here's Lafleur, all over the ice right now, along with Gretzky. Gretzky's over the line. Gretzky checked by Rutzelianen. Now Rutzelianen to the far side, Kimalainen. He's checked. Lafleur's there. Here's Perro trying to get set. Perro looking for the point man. Now gives it to Bork. His shot's right on. Gretzky in the corner. Checked on the play by Oikari. Now here's Perro in front and sent it for Gretzky. And he shot it wide. Now it's batted out of the air by Matson, who's done that a couple of times to take the pressure off. 728 remaining in the hockey game. 9-0. Canada leads. Canada Cup 81 will continue in a moment. Trache, Gillies, Bossy out there. They have a total of 10 points in this game as a line as well. Buck is bounced to the blue line. Beck keeping it in behind the net. Trache, Trache circling behind the net looking for the man. Potvan moving in. He keeps it in at the blue line. Into the corner. Trache, Trache from behind the net now with Gillies parked out in front. Trache looking for the man. Out in front for Gillies. Quick shot. A rebound. Now Trache again. He tries to find the point. There's nobody there. And at center ice, it's Gillies. He gets it back. They nearly throw the puck away, but Beck covers up. Beck now ahead for Gillies. Gillies to Bossy. Bossy with Trottier trailing on the play. Bossy's behind the net. Bossy, Gillies coming in front again. Cleared out to the point and down the ice. Backcourt will be Potvan. Potvan touching it. Icing will be the call. We'll have a face-off down in Finland territory. This afternoon... Czechoslovakia and the Soviet Union played to a 1-1 tie at the Winnipeg Arena. All of the scoring coming in the second period. Milan Novi scoring at 157 of the second period from Riekster and Dudacek. And then at 934, the Soviet Union tied it up. Rozdetsky from Alexander Maltset, the veteran, 1-1 the final score. And a hand for the line coming off the ice. Trottier, Gillies, and Bossy. Out there, Dion, Middleton, Gare, and we'll take that face off all over again. USA this afternoon beat Sweden 3-1 to one right here in the Northlands Coliseum. Now the point standing so far will show Canada, we assume, will go on to win this at 9 nothing with six minutes and a half remaining on top with the United States. Czechoslovakia and the Soviet Union with one point. And Sweden stuck into the corner. Long way to go on this tournament yet as here's Dion coming out in front of the net. One-handing that puck gets it to middle and middle and put it through everybody's legs with gear cutting in front. Backhanding it into the corner. Tapio Levo. Levo gets it again. Number eight. He's on his way to Colorado next year. Now, 
Dion, Dion in the middle, and he gets it. Now looks for the man who rolls in front, and with Gare cutting across, Marcus Matson steered it into the corner rather wisely. Cutting to the boards now. At center right, Yari Khoury. Khoury, number 17, cutting straight across the blue line now, is over the line, gets set. He's checked by Robinson. Good job. It's cleared back out to center right again. Rutsalainen, number five, or Kimolainen. Now Rutsalainen again. At center ice, there's a chance for Leon in him. He gets the shot away. Leon alertly goes down with 5.29 remaining. Canada leading 9 nothing. They're nearing the 40 shots on goal point in this game. 39-21 right now, the shots. Well, Leon not having too much work early in the hockey game and one of the few times that he had to make a good save uh, late in this period. No rebounds. I think that's part of it, too. He's down over the line. Now comes Duguay racing again in alone. But this time, Matson was out to get to it first. Banning on it inside the line was Bork. It's out at center ice. Kiel, uh, Kiel Ammonen. Bork, Goring. Goring to Hartsburg. Hartsburg. Ganey. Ganey. Goring. Goring over the line. Offside. It's Ganey stepped in too quickly on the left side. And 5-0-1 left. Three-point men in the game and multi-goal men are Bossy with two along with Gretzky. They each have two goals and one assist. Gillies with a goal and two assists. Lafleur with three assists in the game. That's been a harvest here tonight for Team Canada. Ganey racing after it. Matson away out of his net. Nearly cleared it right onto Ganey's stick. Buck is cleared back in again. Here comes Goring. He is hit by Ganey himself as he tried to bust through the defense. Now it's Leonard. Leon into Goring, Goring to Ganey. Ganey chips it over there for uh, uh, the shot taken by Duque. Ganey, Ganey now circling. Ganey, Duque out in front. Ganey again, but he took a whack at a bouncing puck, and we're going to have penalties handed out for interference. And I think two players are going, both Goring and also Yuha Wikari. 9 nothing. the score. Canada leading. Canada Cup 81 will continue in a moment. Four skaters against four here as Team Canada and Finland play a man short. On the faceoff, Ketela back in his own zone. He gets the return pass. Now leaves it for Numelin. Numelin around the boards. Now here comes Yellenin. Yellenin at center ice. Cleared ahead past Ketela. Deep inside Team Canada territory. Flipped into the corner. And here's Gretzky to Lafleur. Lafleur at center ice with some room now. Lafleur dropping it back to Beck. Beck feeding it across ice for Gretzky. Gretzky behind the net. Watch for Lafleur as he cuts into the slot. Comes right back to the point. Front man shot is a high one and it's taken off the chest protector. Uh, Marcos Matson and he holds on. That's the 40th shot on goal for Canada. Well, Gretzky again from behind the net. Always passing that puck. That's what he does so well. Passes the puck between the legs of the defender. Hot band moving in. The shot a little high. Matson thinks he has to have a bulletproof vest in there to stop all those shots. And I'm sure he's going to sleep well tonight with all the, the work that he's had. But that's what Wayne Gretzky does so well. Comes from behind the net. And when anybody turns to look where the puck is, that's the time that he just puts the puck between their legs to the open man. Botvan couldn't knock it down at the point from the faceoff. Botvan going back into his own zen, uh, end along with Curry. Botvan's got it. Curry's pinning him against the boards, and it'll be held there this time for faceoff in Team Canada territory with 3.40 left. Denny Potvan, who has been bothered by a groin pull, which has hurt him since the Stanley Cup playoffs of last year, named an alternating captain for Team Canada. The captains... In alternate games will be Potvan and Bob Ganey. Or a uh, correction, uh, Bob Ganey is the alternate captain. Uh, the alternating captains will be Potvan and Larry Robinson. Silton and behind his own net, number four. Ahead for Heikman. Heikman at center ice. Shoots it off a leg. There's Gretzky. Chopping it right back into his own zone. And Canada controls it. Potvan puts it off the boards for Bossy. Bossy to Potvan. Potvan over the line. Potvan faking back pass over for Gretzky. Gretzky in front. Quick shot at the crossbar. Now cutting away with it. Here's a shot by Potvan. Another one of his bullets. And he let that good wrist shot go. 
but it was blocked by Marcus Matson over to the far side Robinson cruising and feeds it in front Gretzky deflected it right into Matson. now in the corner inland the pass Siltonen number four Siltonen and at center ice Hackman he's knocked away from the puck Lafleur Lafleur the far side down over the line they come Dion trying to get it to Lafleur. Finland coming right back out again. Siltonen, he can't get past the checking. Swinging back is Rotzicalio. Rotzicalio. Straight up ice. Leinonen. He's checked from behind. Lafleur all over the ice on this ship. Lafleur inside his own blue line. Around behind the net. Robinson. Robinson working his way out on the left side. Clear that pass intended for Perrault. Two minutes remaining in the game now as the puck is in over the line. A wrist shot taken by Yuka Porbae. And it's out at center ice. He'll line him. Over the line. Porbae. Porbae working to the boards. He is hit by Robinson. Perrault shoveling it into the corner on the far side. Racing after it is Engblom. Along with Kim Island. Now... Again, Team Canada, Robinson. Robinson shoveling it back. Middleton on that pass from Engblom. Middleton at center ice. Middleton working to the line. Middleton trying to circle the defense. Middleton cutting it out and circling and feeding it out in front intended for Zion. And coming right back is Borbari for Finland. Borbari circling the defense, gets in front, and Leuk goes down and hangs, blocks it and leaves it there for Hartsburg. Hartsburg. Dion can't get loose. Canada getting a little sloppy as Porbari clears it out in front, and there's Leon again. He's working hard to save the shutout with 57 seconds remaining. At center ice, Gilman Allenen with a long shot. And there's Leon leaving it for Hartsburg. Hartsburg ahead, Gillies. Gillies at center ice now, leading the rush with Middleton. Middleton gets the pass, and it's poked away from him and Kettle with 40 seconds remaining. Over the line, Kettle Working for the net, his shot is deflected wide. On the far side, Middleton. Starting out is Croce. Croce at center ice, shooting it in. 27 seconds remaining. In against the boards now, Finland. Out to center ice. There's Kedula. Kedula forced to circle back with 17 seconds left. Kedula ahead. Knocking it down is Yavinen. Over the line, Ganey. Ganey pokes it out. Seven seconds outside. And the faceoff will be outside the Team Canada blue line. With three seconds left, Canada leading 9 nothing. Canada Cup 81 will continue in a moment. Well, they dropped the puck, and the game is over. And Team Canada congratulates Mike Leute for a shutout here. Not what you'd call, as Ken Dryden used to say, a working man shutout. But he, had to, he made the saves when he had to, and... Uh, Canada, very impressive in its debut here in Canada Cup 1981. Very powerful. Very, very powerful offensively. Very, very solid defensively. And perhaps in the last two minutes of the hockey game, Mike Leott was forced to come up with perhaps his most sparkling save twice on Porvari, who really tried to break that uh, goose egg. But no matter how you read it, a shutout is a shutout. They all look the same in the box score. And he did a workmanlike effort here today, but there was no question about the, the better club here tonight and taking over in the second period, Team Canada.